Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I get into today's video, I have a mini haul for you from Nasty Gal and I wanted to show you guys the stuff before I get into today's vlog. Today is gonna be a really good vlog. But yeah, so I just picked out a bunch of things from Nasty Gal that I wanna show you guys. It's perfect for the summertime um, and just things like that. I got really cute stuff and I'm really excited to show you. So let's get into that. I will have everything down below that you guys need like links and things like that but um here are some things that i want to show you guys so first is this bikini it is so cute i wanted to wear it on the fourth of july but i literally ordered this stuff i want to say like a day before i left for the fourth or not a day before but like a few days before and it came in while i was home for the fourth and i'm really sad but this bikini is so cute so nasty gal has very cute bikinis that are very affordable which you know we love um and it is a higher like waisted bikini bottom so you obviously you can see how it goes up on your hips a lot more i love the look of that it makes your legs look super long and then i love the style top it's very supportive and really cute i love the material and color of this bikini and then another bikini i got i feel like this style is super in right now so the top of this bikini is a triangle top bikini and it ties in the middle. So you know how, do you guys see that a lot on Instagram, how it's like a little triangle bikini and then it ties in the center? I feel like I see that so much and I really want a bikini that looks like that. So this one's so cute. I love the pattern of it and the color. And then the same bottoms as the ones I just showed you kind of, they are a little bit more fuller coverage, uh, but they go higher up on your legs and this one is definitely instead of it just being like a one that goes higher up on your legs this one's a higher waisted so it goes up to about your bikini button um your bikini button did you guys hear that your belly button oh my gosh and then i love the sides of this it has these two like lines so it's like a tie bikini bottom but with two straps so holds up extra because I feel like sometimes some bikini bottoms fall out. So these ones are so, so, so cute. And then this is what I'm most excited for. Nasty Gal is one of my favorite stores to get heels from. I feel like their heels are such great quality and they really know the trends of what is going on. Like they literally know what heels to put out because of the trends. So I picked up three pairs of heels. These ones are a little bit of a lower heel, but you know, we love that because your girl doesn't really wear heels, but she's getting into it. She's loving heels. Um, and then it has two little straps on the front and then the straps that go up your leg right here. So there's two of them and then here, they're all untied. But whatever, you guys get the idea. They go up your leg and they tie probably around like mid calf area. I really like wearing these types of heels with jeans and tying them into the jeans. Um, I've done that before and if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And then these are, <laughs> oh my god, I like have a stuffy nose. These ones are just little strappy heels that strap up on your ankle. Super cute, very simple. Um, square toed heels with one strap on your toes. And then those same exact heels, but in nude. And then this is what the backs look like. They're like a chunky heel and they're a little bit higher than the white ones, as you guys can see. But the same as the black, but in nude. I just love these heels so much. And I love a chunky heel. I, I find that it's easier to walk in. Um, but yeah, and then I tried on a few things which I'll show you guys right now But I wanted to talk about them for a quick sec. So first this shirt is a little it's not little It's actually an oversized Chicago tennis tournament shirt and it's in this like beigey nude color I love this shirt. It's all wrinkly because I wore it yesterday But um in the try on I put paired it with a pair of jeans yesterday I wore it with a pair of jean shorts and little sneakers and I kind of tucked it in a tiny bit in the shorts So it wasn't like a dress on me, but I just think that this is so cute sometimes oversized shirts I always wear crop shirts I find but oversized shirts with like a pair of shorts and tennis sneakers is so cute I have no clue what Chicago tennis tournament is or if it even is a thing but I just love the vibe of this shirt it's kind of like vintage looking then this dress I thought that this would be perfect for the summertime and like going out to dinner in the summer sitting on a rooftop sitting outside since 
all there really is is outdoor seating. I mean, there's some indoor, but I don't know. I love the material of this. It looks like it's linen, but it doesn't feel linen. Obviously, linen is super thick. This is like a good material. Those are my toes. Um, this is a good material dress. So cute on. You guys will see it in the try-on, and I love the color of it. Perfect for the summertime. I'm loving all of these like burnt kind of neutral colors right now. So yeah, this dress is so cute on, super flattering, and look how perfectly I just folded that. It would look so good with any sort of sneaker or even heels. And then this two-piece set, biker shorts, tank top, very good material. It's actually really thick and it has another liner on the inside so you don't have to wear a bra with it. Um, and then these shorts are very good material as well. It's such good material. Anyway, this is perfect for throwing on when you're running errands or something. You can wear some sneakers or something. And if it's a little bit chillier, throw a little sweatshirt on over it, a zip up one. But this is so cute. I love sets for the summertime. It's so easy to throw on when you don't know what to wear and it's hot outside and you just don't wanna wear clothes because it's so hot. So a little set is perfect. Last but not least, this set is so cute and it is so soft so it's like a little comfy shorts and sweater set you can so wear it together but I mainly got it for the sweater because I am obsessed with this cropped cardigan and then the buttons are these big like pearl buttons this is the cutest cardigan of the whole entire world um I personally want to wear this like alone with I mean you can wear it with the shorts it looks so cute with the shorts you guys will see it on but I want to wear it alone with it open and like a little tank top underneath like with a pair of jean shorts or jeans or something I just think that this is so cute and that vibe of like cardigans is in especially for like the not the winter but the fall time or when it's like a little bit more chilly um I just think that this is so cute and would be super super cute so all the stuff that I ordered is from the new in section on nasty gals website I love shopping that section because they just have all of the literally new trends that are in if you guys want to check out all the stuff that i ordered i will have the links in the description and everything will be down below so let's get into the rest of this video morning you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here I am Emma and I just did a quick little haul for you guys at the beginning of this I got some new stuff I wanted to show you but yeah let's um, get today going it is currently July Wednesday July 8th I don't even know what day it is and I have such a good day planned today I'm so happy I just lit all my candles I have to do my morning routine of like meditating stuff like that still but hello I am sitting on the couch getting ready to do my morning meditation reading stuff like that to keep my mind in check guys I find that it's so I never thought that I would be like this and I would meditate and all that type of stuff but I find that on the days that I don't meditate I can't ground myself and I just feel so all over the place and I can literally hear all the voices in my head um but the days that I do meditate it just makes me very calm and I can breathe and just have a good day and just not stress and be all worried and stuff like that so um yeah all i really do for meditation is i find like a little meditation on youtube meditate for a little journal for a bit read for a bit but um yeah i have a pretty slow morning and my workout this morning is at 12. i am so excited about my workout today and i'll probably tell you guys more about it when i'm on my way to the workout rather than um like right now so i'll wait for that so yeah let me get my morning done and See you guys into that.
Hi. I am getting ready to leave for my workout class. Isn't that crazy? I'm getting ready to leave for my workout class. I haven't said that for so, like literally for so long. All of my laundry, this is all of my um, workout stuff I need to put away. But I need to check what the weather is like outside to see if I need to throw like a sweatshirt on over my outfit or if I will be okay. Oh my God, it's so hot, I do not need one. I'm like always so confused because my apartment is so cold, but then the outside is so warm and I'm like, oh, do I need a sweatshirt? And then I never end up needing one. I had to change my battery before I forgot because you know me and my camera literally always die. But guys, um, so why I am so excited about going to a workout class today is because I am going to an SLT class. And basically, before like anyone hops on me and says like, why are you going to a workout class? Um, SLT does private lessons, obviously just one-on-one, -on -one, you and the instructor. So um, it's literally just gonna be me and the in instructor in the room and you wear your mask. I guess you wear your mask until you get to the like reformer and then once you're at the reformer you take your mask off and then they like i wonder what it's gonna look like in there i don't know i guess you just like you take your mask off when you're on the reformer as you're working out or you keep it on i'll have to ask when i'm there and then you basically just like do your class and then like leave and it's just you and the instructor. They obviously can't like touch you and like help you with like stuff, just it's mostly verbally. Um, but I'm just so excited to actually be able to do a workout class because I haven't done SLT since right before coronavirus. Like literally right before quarantine started, I went to my last SLT class and then we went to LA. And then I got back and I had one scheduled and then they canceled it because everything got shut down. And I'm so, like I was so sad that I didn't get to go to one before this all happened. And I'm so excited to go. Like, oh my God, I've been craving SLT. And like doing SLT at home is just not the same as SLT in person. You guys know if you've taken an SLT class. <laughs> I have my SLT socks on. Yay! I just made perfect time for class and now I need to park. So hopefully I can park. It's not really a tight squeeze, but I think we're good. And there's an ambulance coming down the road. Oh wait, not anymore, they left. But, yo, why did my camera switch? Oh my God, easy as that. Oh wait, just kidding. I need to get closer to the curb. I lied, that wasn't that easy. Um, but I'm so excited to be taking an SLT class finally. And I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can when I'm in there. But I don't really know how much I'll be able to vlog, you know? Cause I'm not bringing my camera and I'm literally bringing my keys, my mask, myself, and I'm leaving my phone. like. I'm not bringing anything in with me because they say like try to bring the least amount of stuff in Not even to bring my water bottle because I don't even drink water really during class Or maybe I will bring my water bottle just to have just in case, but I'm gonna leave my phone bring my keys leave my camera and I will see you guys after Class I'll vlog on my phone on my way in there and stuff Bye guys. I'm so excited <laughs> and it's so hot I'm sweating so much and I'll talk more about it when I get into the car that was the best feeling in the whole entire world guys I am so sweaty I haven't been like this sweaty in so long that was the best feeling in the whole entire world 
I don't know if I could even drive home. I am so like tired right now. My body's shaking still. I'm dripping in sweat. That was literally the best feeling in the whole entire world. Like I I don't know, I feel like wholesome again. I feel like I am back to my normal self. It was the hardest class I've probably ever taken. First of all, one-on-one -on -one classes. I've heard that they're hard. I've never done a one-on-one -on -one before, obviously, because I used to only just do like the group classes, but I've never done a one-on-one -on -one SLT class before. If you guys know my friend Natalie, she told me that she took a one-on-one -on -one SLT class once in her life, and she was like, it's the hardest thing I have ever done in my whole entire life. And I was like, oh, like it's whatever, it's fine. Like it's probably not that hard because I used to go to SLT every single week. I'd go twice, two to three times a week. And obviously like I kind of just got so good at it. Not gonna lie, <laughs> um, I got pretty good at it. So after not doing it for, I haven't done an SLT class since March, April, May, June, July. Literally in like basically four months. Four months is crazy. Um, so I like wasn't used to it. I lost my like, well I didn't lose my little, skill but um obviously like I was so just not used to it and I was like oh my god it feels so good to be back though I feel like me again I feel like myself I genuinely feel so good and I freaking love SLT glasses the instructor that I had today this guy is literally watching me talk to myself and smile and freak out because I'm so happy but the instructor I had today she's normally I think she said that she's normally in New York um, but I think she does live here which I have another SLT class with Maggie um, on Friday but my instructor today was Kara and she I've never had her before she was so good she her and I were talking because I have really weak shoulders um, I can't really do push-ups and doing like a plank if I do like a side plank with a twist it's hard for me to do because my shoulders are so weak and it's she said it's mostly like my lats which I want to work on my lats that's what I need to work on more but um we were doing moves where if I was doing like a normal group class with SLT I feel like I wouldn't be able to make the modifications that I did because my shoulders are like not as strong but I was able to make those modifications so I was able to do literally every single movement and it just felt so good and yeah oh my god that was the best class I've ever taken I'm so sweaty and I can't wait to go home and shower um but oh and we were talking like that we both really like to focus on our core a lot. So our next class that we do on Friday with Maggie, it'll be me, Maggie, and her. And we are gonna do like a lot more core and stuff, but oh my God, I felt so good to be back. And it's so weird because you have to like wear your mask till you get to your, um, well, when it's like just a one-on-one -on -one class, you wear your mask till you get to your reformer. But once you do like group classes, you have to wear your mask during the whole class, which I'm gonna have to get a mask that's like, sweat proof so it like doesn't just collect my sweat and make it sit there but that felt so good <laughs> I'm so happy guys my legs are so sore <laughs> Arlen just sent me a Juice World song. I think this might be one of his newer songs, is it? Or what is this? If you guys don't know this about me, I love Juice World, and oh my god, I don't even want to talk about it, but this like day he passed away, was literally one of the worst days of my life. I like cried so much, but I'm gonna listen to this song as I do my skincare. And my skin has like a few weird like breakouts. Well, just like marks from breakouts that I got while I was, what is this? It's literally a dead skin piece, <laughs> ew. Um, but I have a few marks 
left from hormonal breakouts because I just got off my period. I had one right here and it went away like last night because I used my light on it. So I'm gonna use my light right now to do my skincare and listen to this song. And yeah, so my skin is starting to clear up as I've been eating like fish and eggs every day. I feel like I was needing that. This happened to me. I don't know why I did that to myself again. This happened to me back when I was, um, I was a freshman, sophomore in high school. I was vegan for all of freshman year, all of sophomore year. And I stopped summer going into my junior year. And I would break out and I just like would always get so, like, I don't know, I just wasn't, I don't know. Being vegan isn't for everyone, so. I tried it again, obviously started like last year, kind of accidentally, I wasn't vegan until I moved in with my sister because she didn't really eat meat or fish or anything. So when I moved in with her, we kind of just like didn't for the whole summer and then it stuck with me for a while. But then once like quarantine started, I started eating fish and meat again and my skin started to clear up and I started to feel so much better. Um, so yeah, cause I get so many questions on if I, about my eating, that's like one of the biggest things on my channel. I feel like everyone always asks me about what I eat and um, yeah, I do eat meat again. I am moving into chicken. I'm actually really excited. My dad used to make really good chicken. So when I'm home, he makes it for me. And although I don't really know how to make chicken by myself, I'm kind of afraid to make chicken by myself, but I'm good at making fish and stuff like that. Eggs, all that type of stuff. Um, and food combining, I get questions about that. Um, I mean like I don't, I don't know if I really, I don't really pay attention to it. I never really understood it to begin with. So when I lived with my sister, I really followed it cause she was always into it, but I never really understood it. So I don't think I do it. I don't know. I don't really pay attention. I just kind of like eat what I want when I want, do whatever, live life. That's my little talk today. But yeah, I'm gonna do my skincare. Guys, it is clearly, oh my gosh, my hair. The next day, we need to do something about this. Um, but, hi. Clearly the next day, I went out to dinner with a friend last night, so I obviously wasn't gonna vlog. Um, but, just got home from my workout. With my trainer, we worked out on the field today. I just made a Fit with Cambry protein smoothie shake thing. Um, looks absolutely terrible, but tastes amazing because it looks so bad because I did um, one scoop of her vanilla protein powder, one scoop of her glowing green goddess powder. Is that what it's called? It's the... I wish it looked prettier, but Glowing Goddess powder, green powder, and I did a banana, ice, coconut water, super random mixture. I did a little bit of cacao powder, cardamom, 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 and cinnamon. So random, you just can't taste the greens, obviously. So it's like basically like a chai smoothie. like a chocolate chai with vanilla protein so it makes it a little sweet. Tastes so good. Like it actually tastes really good. I'm actually surprised because I thought it was gonna taste a little funky, but it's super yummy. I wish I had like a milk, like a coconut milk or something, um, but all I had was coconut water, so. I so could have done like a fruity mixture, but I wasn't really in the mood for something fruity. Plus I want like strawberries. Um, and I want to do like a strawberry cherry type of thing, but I literally have cherries and blueberries and mango and frozen pineapple and papaya. Pineapple papaya would have been so good too. Oh my God, I so could have made something good. But I personally don't like blueberries in my smoothie. If you guys know that about me, you don't know that about me. I don't like blueberries in my smoothies for some odd reason. Um, But this one tastes amazing, it looks disgusting. So 
So I'm gonna drink this and take a shower. Then Maggie and I have to go get her car detailed today. So like we have nothing um, too exciting planned except for going with her to get her car detailed. Um, so maybe I'll take you guys along or something, figure something out to end off this vlog. But yeah, this is kind of like a few days in my life vlog. I wonder if I should vlog until Friday. I'll let you guys know. Go we'll figure it out. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maggie and I go up to each other to ask each other if we should get this color of leggings. Oh, these not but we have the fit. same ones. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to end off this vlog soon, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff I bought today. I went shopping because a mall is open. It's like this outdoor mall. Um, that's outside of Boston, but we went to Lulu and I got this hat Just a little it's called a baller hat. So it looks a little bit more not like normal, but Okay, there's something inside of it the cardboard. So it looks really bad, but It's one of like the trucker Looking hats, which I really like on my head better than the smaller like baseball caps You guys know what I'm talking about obviously um, and then I got these aligns in this light blue color really cute because I saw a video of me wearing my royal blue ones Like a, I got like a, a year ago, you know, those a year ago today snapchats Yeah, I got one of me wearing my royal blue leggings and I sold them and I miss them so much I always do that I sell things that I end up missing and I'm really sad. I do that So I got the light blue ones and then I got this little quarter not quarter zip the zip up with a hood it's like a light sweatshirt and it's this green color which is my favorite color from lululemon it's their what one is this it's the define hooded jacket with the and it's the nulu um material but yeah so that's what i got from lulu and then i went to anthropology and i got a few things so I got a dry brush, a new one, because I mentioned how I needed to get a new dry brush because my old one got all like ruined in the shower because I would keep it in the shower and it got like the wood that it was got all moldy almost. Not moldy, but just like pink, which I think is mold. Um, natural deodorant. Two Maribudescu lip balms that are my favorite lip balms in the whole entire world. Literally the only lip balm that is the best lip balm ever. Um, I needed two new ones. And then I go through phases. I like those one week. I like a different brand the next week. I like the Glossier ones one week. Crazy. And then when I'm like wearing a full face of makeup or something and I want to put on a lip gloss that's not plumping since my clear lip gloss that I have from, um, I want to say it's called, oh my God. I forget the name of it, but you guys know my favorite lip plumping lip gloss. It's a glossy lip gloss, and sometimes I don't want plump lips, you know? So Maggie loves this one. It's by the brand Winky Lux, and it hydrates your lips. It has like an oil base. So I got this one, the one that has stars in it. So it's called um, In the Stars. That's the shade name, or shade name. That's the name of this one. So that's what I got. My little mini haul. Um, and I think I'm gonna end this video off here because yeah I It was so random. I literally forget what I even showed you guys what I did um, Right no, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys